We're really excited about this upcoming season to try to continue our successes of the past and, and to see how this team will come to fruition and, and, and what the summer's brought uh, for us and, and all, of the, all of the changes that we have to tweak our offenses to, to meet our personnel and our defenses to meet our personnel. But certainly with our post players, you know, you have to look at Luke Keller and Kyle Stankowski. They have the most returning minutes for us in experience, and both of them are very capable offensively. We haven't used Luke too much in a scoring role last year, but we'll look for him much more to be a, a leader as far as scoring goes and, you know, creating our offense a little bit through him and Kyle, who certainly has been a little bit more of a proven scorer. You know, we're, we're, we're going to ask him to do a little more scoring and shooting, and, you know, certainly we've had some some a good summer out of uh, A.J. Grazoulis and uh, uh, Jason Hawk is going to play a little bit in the post this year and see if we can create some, you know, some situations for him. But uh, I like I like our returning post players and 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 they are going to be our mainstay as far as who we're going to go to early early in the year. Perimeter uh, is is a question mark because of our experience. Of course, you lose a Stelzer and you you know you lose uh, you know all of that offense and experience and everything went through Ben last year. So we're going to have to step up. Uh, Jordan Chartier is a question mark at this point because of his injury and his experience. So after Jordan and Ben, our experience is considerably less as far as game minutes. Uh, I am excited about Dylan Gordon, his progress that he's made, and he's, he's done a nice job adapting to, to running the show. Of course, we know he's a good shooter, and we're excited that, that he can come and, and, and be that guy right now in, in uh, Jordan's absence. Jeff Gregory has stepped up and done a really nice job as far as defensively understanding the offense. He's a great leader. He's a very capable shooter, and he will be uh, you know, needed, needed to fill that role for us. Uh, Tanner Uren has had a great summer and has, has done a nice job, again, adapting to, to getting some playing time. And I, I like what his IQ brings, and I like his, his length and his ability to play in the post as a guard. And Eric Cass has done a great job you know, with, with both shooting and uh, defensively to date and practice. So those four guys are going to have to be, uh, right now, our, our anchors as far as is, uh, the minutes on the perimeter. We do have three newcomers in the program this year that we're, that we're really high on, excited, uh, of which I believe at this point all three of them will, will contribute. Uh, Brian Heath is, a, is an outstanding shooter and athlete who early in the season, early in practice here has been really productive. Kyle Monroe has been outstanding. He's a, he's a 6'6 kid that can play both on the perimeter and in the, in the, in the post and is uh, very crafty and has the ability to really make some baskets and score in bunches. And uh, Miles Sai is another newcomer that has been banged up a little bit and hasn't done much practicing at this point, but yet very capable. And once he gets practice ready and then, and then you know, convert into, into game ready will be, will be a contributor for us. Boy, there's, there is not one easy game on this schedule. And, you know, certainly everybody else is saying the same thing, but uh, it, it, that's what makes this fun, you know, the, the, the chance to, to have to be sharp every night, the, ha the chance to uh, get an opportunity to play on the road, get a chance to, to be good at home. All of these are excitement and uh, really looking forward to it.